right, well, I'm excited for this one. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here tonight. The beautiful thing that he does is he throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it, and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kicks. He doesn't always intend on landing him, but he beats up your arms with high kick after high kick after high kick. And then as you get desperate, you start to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So three years the gap in age between these two fighters with big differences in height and reach. And now to get us started, here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening and when the action begins our referee in charge herb dean and now this is the moment ufc fans around the world have been waiting for live from the mgm grand garden arena in las vegas <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 29 wins, three losses, and one draw. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Bruno, Czech Republic, Yuri Ganisa and now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. They touch him up, and we are underway. Ready. Ready to fight. All right, so lofty expectations for this matchup as round one gets underway. It seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, truly a fighter who can do it all. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. Just misses with the straight right. Coming. Look at him drive his shin into the whole body with that body kick. Both guys throwing potential fight enders here in the early going. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Strong defense there to block the shot. He is all about that left kick to the body. 
got the tie clinch now. That knee might have landed there. Oh, so the taller fighter lands a knee yet again. Big ball for punch land. Now he gets back to range. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Oh, he landed that knee to the midsection. Got to think his opponent's going to feel that one in the morning. And he's going to continue to throw that strike because he knows that his opponent can't take many of them. Tries the flying knee to no avail. Nice head kick. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Oh, nice jab. Two minutes have expired in our opening round. Here's the kick blocked by Lee. The one-two punch is true. Oh, just misses with the kick. Got clip with the right hand. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. Another powerful kick there. A lot of volume with the feet tonight for him. It's unbelievable to watch somebody make kicking the base of their fighting style. He has shown us that it's possible. Big punch man over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Going to the body now with that hook. Well placed there by Lee. Right hand upstairs. Just out of range with the straight left hand. Inside leg kick lands and immediately a mark on his opponent. Maybe a cut to the left of the nose. No problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. And both guys really throwing with authority. Back to his patented kicks here, but just out of range. Big leg kick land. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Man, that hurts to watch as he lands another strike to his opponent's liver. He has continued to target that area after landing that huge liver shot earlier in the fight. Just misses there with the left. Well, you know about the offense, but how about the defense? Overhand blocked by Lee. Oh, single collar tie here. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Yep, not a ton behind it, but it landed. 15 seconds remain in the round. Beautiful punch. Single collar tie. Lee's got the tie clinch. Let's see what he can do. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. All right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. All right, next round is underway. He did a great job in the previous round, largely untouched. Reminds me a little bit of Dominic Cruz, the former UFC Bantamweight champion. Defense is the primary focus, and that was certainly evident in the previous round. Yes, Dominic Cruz was one of the more brilliant defensive fighters we have ever seen. He did it with footwork. This man tonight has done it with his blocking skills, with his vision and his ability to just not be where his opponent thinks he's going to be. And that left hook landed on the button. 
Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Big kick land. Oh man, that left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. Back to the well with that right hand, it's no good. Oh, and he caught the kick. That one's no good. Nice strike. Checks that leg kick. Oh, and he lands yet another knee. And sometimes it pays to be the taller fighter, DC. I know you can't necessarily left hook to the head. Well, if you're going to leave your body that wide open, you're going to pay the price, and he certainly did there as his opponent lands flush to the midsection. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, huge I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Great punch landed with so much power. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Boy, Ty Plump. And he landed the right hand there. Lee gets stung by that leg kick. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Over and over, he's landing a big body kick. Well, you saw his reference in the tail to take DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that shot. Nice job to land the kick to the body there by Lee. Man, that cut is just getting worse by the minute. Rated R tonight. Ooh, what a punch. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. I want that tail down now. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Whiffs on the right hand. Takes him down. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Caught that kick there. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. He's throwing these punches and combinations really dictate the pace to his opponent. Throwing that jab, no good. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Big head kick. Big strike right there. Nice body. Punch coming, it's blocked. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. 15 seconds. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Ooh, nice move to the body, just what he needed there. Punch over the top. Front, front, front. A lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1 level right. kickboxing competition. He's that good 
at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him tonight. That was so impressive to see someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Ah, oh, he's been working hard defensively, kick block there. Look at the angle of that nice body. And he connects there. Oh, man. Slips the shot. Trying to do damage now with the kick. That's a miss. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Caught that. Now, there's danger in that, too, because when you start reaching on to catch that kick, here comes the high kick, and then you're in a lot of trouble. Well played on the head kick. Big punch lands through the middle. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. So there it is, longer reach paying dividends as he counters with a punch. Well, he's always on the counter attack, but a nice leg kick there by Lee. Nice loop and punch. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it, lighten up his opponent left and right. Well, he's the taller fighter and able to land a knee to the body with relative ease there. Oh, big punch land. Distance gets the single collar tie. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, nice right hand. Kick to the body by Lee. They continue to exchange. And they separate. Beautiful body kick. How about this kicking game on full display tonight? Kicks back to back and just truly mixing up the target. Sight to behold. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch, like just put a smile on my face. Oh, beautiful shot there with the hook. I'm not sure his opponent saw that one coming. His opponent is taking straight punch. He's looking right around the guard to land and land efficiently. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Hit him with the overhand. Right punches there. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Good punch. What a body kick. Right back in the clinch. Look for the backhand to get very accurate. right hand lands upstairs. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Still nice body kick land. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. Out of range with that one. Beautiful body kick. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. Ooh, what a punch. Ten seconds. 
seconds to go. Oh, oh nice that shoot. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, well, that's the end of the round, so the location is okay, the cut on the cheek, but that is some serious blood trickling out of that cut there. You gotta think maybe at some point they call the doctor in, and if he doesn't like what he sees, maybe they stop this fight. All right, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you would. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risks. What a fantastic round. All right, next round is now underway. Previous round, not necessarily a tough act to follow. Pretty good, not great. Pretty good round, but not the best round. Sometimes that's what you get to have fighters that are so evenly matched. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. So once again, leaning on that long reach as he counters effectively with a jab to the head. Beautiful body to land right under the elbow. Oh, man, I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did, because I have times where I've been kicked like that, and I'm gonna tell you one thing, it does not feel good. Nice body kick right under the elbow. And there comes the separation now. Oh, straight punch, lands flush on the counter. Nice deception with his footwork, and again, we're a broken record when it comes to the reach advantage. Certainly helped him out there. Oh, that's a good strike there by Lee. Nice head kick. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Body kick. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop throwing. Nice punch lands over the top. Big left hook coming. It's blocked. Nice job with that follow-up shot as well. Back to the leg kick now, that one's no good. Oh, he continues to attack that bloody cheek. His face is a mess. Beautiful hit kick. Oh, good kicks. Nice strike. Right under the elbow, the body kick lands. Relax, relax, keep your hands up. Try to establish that jab. So three minutes have flown off the fight clock there. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Just misses with the left hook. Nice, sneaky head kick. Nice. Some nice back and forth action here. You're the driver in this one now. Set the pace. Here we go. Just misses with the jab there. Take it down. Head kick. Can't take many of those. You better check. Big shot land. Under a minute to go in the round. Oh, that 
right hand is on point. Right hand upstairs. Oh, nice job defensively there to get the guard up. Shot is blocked by Lee. 20 seconds to go. Big and kick. Connects with a right. Oh, nice. Nice. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round. And he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there and he's not on his toes and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. The last round. He's winning the slugfest. That's the type of fight he wants. And you want to think this last round is how it's going to go. Warm into your slip. All right, another round is now underway. Pretty good previous two rounds. We'll see who makes the requisite adjustments now. The adjustments are going to be the key, John. When you're doing everything you're trained to do, and it stays this close, you got to really switch it up. Wood Corner was able to relay that message to their fighter. Better Not there. Spinning back fist. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Just a slip there. Oh, here's a kick to the body. Blocked, though, by Lee. Well, a case of pick your poison here. If you drop the elbow defensively to lessen the body damage, you open yourself up upstairs. He is in some serious trouble now. Great punch. Head kick. You got the turn on that kick. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Back to the jab now, no good. They separate. Oh, misses with the jab. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Amazing that we could get to this point of the fight and he would not show even a modicum of a sign of fatigue. Well, he's doing a very good job of managing his cardio. He doesn't throw everything with 100% power to those things to set up. He does a good job of knowing when to go, and knowing when to slow down, and showing. Look at his cardio. He does, he's not even breathing heavy yet. Big power shot there. Nice defense there. Huge block. And he connects with a the punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Nice punch there by Lee. Two minutes now to go in this one. Clean with the right hook. Trying to establish that jab once again. Right hand upstairs. Man, it's almost like he's got a range finder out there. Just too easy as he connects with another good series of punches. There. If you're boxing this guy and only boxing him, you will be in trouble. Big kick lands. All right, well, it's late in the fight. Time is of the essence. And when you're clearly losing and you know you need a finish, risk management goes out the window. Oh, yeah. No more risk management. 
either get knocked out or you knock him out. One way or the other, you're gonna lose. You can lose by decision or you can lose by knockout. But at least when you go for the knockout, you give yourself a chance to try to find your shot. What a wrestler. That was an amazing takedown. Ali's got a bruise starting to appear on that right side of his body now. Big body kick lands. What a punch. Real sneaky body kick. And a nice left hand there on the inside. He missed with that jab attempt there. Right hand upstairs. So he lands another jab here. Nicely done there by Lee. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Good punch, Lance. Final 10 seconds of the fight. What else can you say but what a fight? All right, so a lot to like over the distance of that fight tonight. Clearly, we think we saw one guy win the fight and largely got it done with the striking. Yeah, he got it done with the striking. And that's exactly what he's known for. He's known as a guy that's so comfortable whenever he's in the stand-up. And that showed tonight as he truly outworked his opponent. All right, the official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest. 48-47, 49-46, and 48-47. Declared the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, so there he is, the celebration is on. He tried to lead the judges out of it tonight, was unable to do that, but a pretty dominant effort nonetheless. He's your winner by unanimous decision. And you've got to feel good about that. you got to feel good about dominating every aspect of a fight and getting a victory. He's 